Hi booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching books I'm not reading. I am here today with a Friday Reads video. Some of these books will be very familiar because they have been featured on many other uh, Friday Reads videos. So I am still reading Stephen Milhauser's The Knife Thrower. Maybe still reading, that might be a slight exaggeration. I have have not read anything since the last time I talked to you about that this book. Um, I do, I am really enjoying the stories though. They're just so, they're all so different from each other, which um, I think I've said before on my channel, like sometimes short story collections, like you feel like you're reading the same story over and over again. Definitely not true with the knife thrower, so. And I am still reading Sinner's Welcome by Mary Carr. Um, many of you have told me how much you like Mary Carr, which is cool. And I just want you to know that you shouldn't be put off by the cross and the name of this poetry collection, Sinner's Welcome. Uh, it's definitely not a collection of strictly like religious themed poetry although there are some poems like that. Um, but the title poem itself, which I finally did uh, get around to reading, um, uh, is about sex. So so don't let that put you off from, from picking up this collection because so far I, I just am amazed, amazed at the poetry in this collection. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this and giving you guys a review of it. Now, uh, for those of you who watched my epic long vlog of Thanksgiving, uh, I finally got uh, over the Thanksgiving uh, holiday weekend, the one book that I decided a year ago at this time that was gonna be my one book of the year, which is Betty Smith's Tomorrow Will Be Better, seems very ironic to read that this year, but uh, one of my goals for the year was to read all the Betty Smith books, and I have been doing that with uh, Joey from Game of Authors and another um, booktube commenter, her name is Loretta, and so I had already got this and then sent Joey and Loretta a message and said, I'm reading this. I don't know if you're still there because we were supposed to read it in May and the publication date was pushed back until November. So anyway, I am, I'm feeling very guilty <laughs> about this buddy read because even though I think Loretta just got her copy of the book, like maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I have finished the book. Um, I could not stop. It was just, it was, I mean, almost like the way you feel about a thriller that you're really into. It just, I could not put it down. So I'm going to talk more about this a little bit later. Um, I think I might do a separate video just about the four Betty Smith books, um, that I read this year. So, um, I will tell you more, uh, what I think of this there. I did start last night my last book in my Curious Adventure, which was a um, project uh, created by Natalie at Curious Reader um, to try to read more nonfiction over the year, which I really f have read a lot of nonfiction this year in part because of that. Um, so this is Raising the Bar, Big Dreams, False Starts, and My Midlife Quest to Dance the Nutcracker by Lauren Kessler. And I do love the Nutcracker, um, and I actually really, um, enjoy dance. I enjoy dancing and I enjoy watching really great dancers dance. So, um, I feel like that almost needs to be a separate video as well, but I just, like I said, I just started reading this last night and it's already, like, fantastic. Um, she's talking about how much, uh, dance companies rely on the Nutcracker to fund the rest of their performances for the whole year. So the Nutcracker is very, very important to ballet companies and I, I'm curious as to what that will mean 
um, for them this year uh, during COVID. So anyway, but uh, uh, yeah, I remember uh, one year for Christmas, my parents took me to Denver to see the Nutcracker uh, performed by their professional um, ballet company. And I was just in awe. It was so great. It was just, yeah, it's a really wonderful memory. So like I said, just started this last night. I'm really hoping to spend um, some some time with this this weekend. And I actually might watch um, The Nutcracker as well. And that leads me to one more book that I would like to read before the year is over. And I, I don't know if I can pull it off or not. Um, the book I want to read before we end 2020 is called The Ivory Mischief by Arthur Meeker Jr. So if in case you haven't heard me tell this story, growing up when I was in college, my mom would always mention The Ivory Mischief and what a great book it was and how sad she was that she didn't have a copy of it anymore. And she just, she just talked about it a lot. So fast forward to 2002, Christmas of 2002, probably the year of my life that I was the poorest, <laughs> which is fine, um, but I found this copy on um, a table at a library that was just free books and I couldn't believe that I found it, but... Uh, so I gave it to her for Christmas that year. I mean, it's definitely a, a very beat up copy and I love my mother and I know that if she were able, she would reread this book, but, um, she has some vision problems and I'm just not sure with font like that, text size, that small, that she's going to be able to do it. So kind of my goal in reading this is to read this for my mom. Um, and be able to talk to her about it and refresh her memory about the story. I just hope it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's quite long, so we'll see how that goes. But um, anyway, so I probably should try to finish off these other three books that I'm reading right now so that I can uh, really devote some serious time to this book. Anyway, booktube, I would love to hear what are you reading this weekend? Did you check out my awesome um, Christmas shirt? This is uh, The Ghost of Christmas Present from A Christmas Carol, which all of you should be reading this month. I need to read it too, but it just, I mean, it takes an afternoon to read A Christmas Carol, so. But yeah, that's definitely on the list as well. I should probably pull my copy off the shelf so I, I, I can't imagine that I would forget but just just in case because I I'm starting to feel like I have pandemic brain like <laughs> things just aren't working as well booktube remember to be kind to yourself be kind to others I will talk to you soon booktube take care